every level you've kind of gone, you eventually like caught up and, and passed. How how excited are you for the stage? Oh, I'm super excited. I mean, you know, especially you know, with the opportunity this year. Last year, obviously, I had the the WBC, so I got some some reps. But uh, you know, I feel like. Coming into this year, you know, I've earned that, that spot to get some, some reps over there at shortstop and, and play next to some of these guys and just, just super excited. Like you said, I've usually caught up and, and kind of got my feet underneath me, and, and you know, I'm hoping that's the, the same case for the big leagues. How much will last year help you? Uh, you know what you didn't know now, right? I think oh, a lot of guys mention that, that you get up here and you think you know everything, but you, you kind of learn that you don't know everything, right? 100%. I mean, you know, I never want to want to go in there thinking that, you know, I know everything. I always want to want to be a sponge and soak up some knowledge. but. Uh, you know, I think having that last month and a half, two months up there with, with the guys and getting that, that big league experience was really good for me. Um, you know, I, I especially, I think going into this year, being being fresh, if this was my first, you know, my debut would be a little bit more nervous. But uh, like you said, getting getting that last little bit of time right there, I think is going to be really big for me this year. Mason, you had uh, power numbers along the, the minor league journey to, to get to this point. When I spoke to you a little while ago, I think you said, Power is not going to be your concern. You have a very good lineup here, and you want to get on base for him. Has your approach changed in terms of what you want to be at the plate offensively? Oh, I mean, I for sure want to get on base. I mean, for sure that's going to be my first and my first priority. But I mean, obviously, I think the power is going to come. Um, that's not really going to be, you know, my main focus. You know, Jordan Walker, he might, you know, he'll probably hit a few more homers than I will. But um, for me, I think the biggest thing is just going to be getting on base for these guys. You know, letting my speed work, scoring some runs for our pitchers. You, you put on some weight. I'm sorry, you put on. Some weight too. Uh, is that part of the deal? Will you see a power benefit from that? Uh, I'm hoping so. I mean, I, you know, I'm hoping lifting weights is gonna you know, help me hit the ball farther. But I think it's a big, big thing for health too. Just staying on the field. I think uh, a big thing for me is, is my health. I think the more I can be on the field, the more beneficial for, for the team it'll be. Compare you yourself to this time last year. What is your comfortability level right now as compared to that? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, last year I was I was so nervous just to be around the big league guys. I mean. You know, my first big league spring training, you know, I didn't really know what was going to happen. But uh, coming in this year, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable, you know, seeing a lot of familiar faces, you know, big leagues, minor leagues. So I'm uh, feeling, feeling a lot better than last year, for sure. Can you talk about your relationship with Jordan again? How much time have you spent during the offseason together? I know you guys were able to report together yesterday, wanted to get things started early. Talk about how that will help you with your game and the friendships you've created so far. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously everybody knows Jordan's my brother. I mean, you know, our families are real close now. and. You know, we've gone through the system together, but um, yeah, I mean, he let me stay with him for a little bit down here in Florida, you know, getting ready for spring training. So that was good. And uh, it's, always, it's always good having a guy, you know, your age, you know, we, we think a lot of likes. So being around him, getting to play baseball with him every day is, is really a blast. You have a lot of new leaders, a lot of new voices in the clubhouse right now, a lot of new pitchers. Can you talk about what you might want to learn from them as you're kind of coming into a new spring training, looking to move forward into this season? Yeah, I mean, you know, losing losing Wayno is going to hurt for sure, but I mean, we got we got a lot of guys like you said, a lot of vets coming back in, and you know, we got Carp and Lance just off the top of my head to talk to. You know, former Cardinals, you know, great established big leaguers. So just being around those guys and being being a, like I said, just being a sponge. I think you know, for me and Jordan is going to be the biggest thing. I mean, being around so much knowledge in this clubhouse is is amazing. Have you had a chance to talk with either? Carper, Lynn? Uh, Lynn, not too much, but Carper's actually right next to me in, in the clubhouse. So, yeah, we've talked a lot. I mean, he reached out to me. We're both from Houston, so, uh, you know, he wanted to reach out and make sure I felt comfortable with him. And just talking to him, I mean, great dude, you know, great person to be around. I'm, I'm really excited to have him in the clubhouse. Just general baseball stuff or anything specific yet? Oh, just life, man. I mean, he'll talk baseball, he'll talk life. I mean, like I said, we're both from Houston, so, I mean, he was giving me his old backstory about his dad being a coach and everything. So, no, nah, just great dude, just talking to him and, and just, just talking life. Mason, when you talked to us at one warm up, you mentioned a bunch of changes you made over the offseason to your, to your swing. Now that it's here, what are you most excited to show off this spring about those changes? I'm just excited to show I can compete. I mean, I think last year, I mean, I didn't, I didn't do a very good showing of me hitting up there in the big leagues. And, you know, I think everybody knows defense is going to be there. So for me, the biggest thing is just taking that, taking that stride hitting wise. And um, I think if I can just compete and, like I said, just get on base for, for my teammates, I think that'll be super beneficial. Would you consider your swing revamped or just maybe fine-tuned? I would say more fine-tuned. I mean, you know, I had, a, I had a good year in AAA last year, and it didn't really translate to the big leagues. And I think it's because I was making too big of adjustments up there, trying to change too much. So uh, throughout the offseason, I've really just been trying to make little tweaks and uh, just trying to get my body right um, as far as just being consistent at the plate. Mason, you always have 
high expectations for yourself. What, what sort of expectations do you have this year going into camp and going to what looks like your first full season? Um, you know, last year, you know, I said I wanted 15 homers and I got 20. So I'm, I'm going to say 15 again this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Bush Stadium is going to be a little tough for sure. You know, might might have to come on the road a little bit. But um, no, I mean, same goals. I mean, I just I want to go out there and want to win a lot of games. Um, you know, me and me and Walk have talked about it. We haven't really gotten to play for too much yet. So, you know, I think playoff push, World Series, I think that's going to be a lot of fun this year. You opened a lot of eyes in spring training last year. What did that do for you the rest of the year? I mean, it kind of it seemed like it kind of showed people up here that, hey, he can handle this level. What did it do for you personally? Uh, I mean, it was great. You know, it was it was really good. And then, then I got to AAA and hit 100 for the first <laughs> month. So that wasn't that wasn't great. But, you know, got my feet back back up under me and, and kind of took off with it. But um, just the confidence going out there. I mean, I was hitting against big league pitching all spring training and, and feeling good. And um, it, it got me right for the season. I mean, being around the guys, being able to show the big league staff and you know, just really everybody, what I can do is really, was really fun last you just, year. You just mentioned it there, like every level you've gone to, maybe the first month, six weeks are a little rocky, but then you take off. What, what are your memories of each level that you've jumped? Is it, is it just kind of getting used to the level? Uh, I would say so. I mean, I think uh, at every level, it's definitely a different adjustment. I mean, at, at each level for sure. And, you know, I think obviously the biggest jump is probably AAA to the big leagues. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the best starter in, in AAA is the sixth starter in the big leagues. So. I think just getting used to the, the good pitching, man. I mean, trying to trying to get my pitches rather than hitting pitchers' pitches for the most part. Yeah. Mason, what's your sense for the energy of the team at this point entering spring training? After a year that didn't go the way y'all wanted as a team, how do you feel about just the ability to start fresh at this point as a team? I feel good, man. I mean, you know, everybody starts 0-0 this year, so it's uh, it's definitely different. You know, we get to we get to start off with the Dodgers, so that'll be a good test. And you know, I think it'd be nice to run away with the series dub out of that. You know, get the season started right, but. I think as far as energy wise, I mean, we got a lot of good guys like that clubhouse for me is, I mean, never been better um, at each level I've been through. I've always had a lot of good guys, but but this year we got a lot of guys that are hungry, um, a lot of good people to be around. And I think I think chemistry is a lot bigger than people think and momentum is, is a lot bigger than people think. And, you know, we got a lot of guys pulling in the same direction right now.